my shoulders killing me. <laughs> you know what we doing? What we doing? <laughs> hey man, you get your workout in too, see? Yeah. Look at this guy. Look, nice look. man. <laughs> What's happening? It's your boy Coach Sean here. We about to get it in. This my client here, Cho. Little bitch, but I can't see me keep my shit together. Since she falling, baby, she still want me doing better. He wore out already. I done broke his ass down. How many weeks we in now? About two? Yeah. About two good weeks. He motivated too, but we gonna push through. I'm gonna need you to stretch. We hit some shoulders yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Today we're gonna hit back and triceps. Come on now, dawg. So he was a good sport. He decided to let y'all in on his session. So y'all thank him, all right? Bruh. You're gonna get some great tips and tricks on how to work that back and hit them triceps the proper way. Let's go. What I want you to do, I'm gonna show you a great back stretch, okay? All right, y'all come on over here. Let me show you something real quick. All you need is a flat surface, okay? So what I want you to do, you're gonna take a knee, two knees. Come down, take your elbows, put them up. Place both of them on the bench. Stretch yourself back and come down like you bowing and you'll feel that. That's gonna help to stretch that back, okay? All right, try it out for me. I want you to hold for, for 30 seconds, okay? Let's go. Got about 10 seconds on you. Five seconds. All right, ease up for me. I'm gonna give you about five. We're gonna do it one more time, one more time, because you tight. So in between our sets, feel free to come over. I'm gonna leave that bench out. We won't be using it today. And go ahead and do that stretch, all right? Also, you know, hanging from the bar, that's gonna stretch out your lats as well. I want you to hit your triceps though, okay? So remember how to do your tri tricep stretch. Now take that hand up. Come back behind your back, yep. My hat coming all up. My goodness, all right. Yep, and then pull back, he got it. There we go. Stretching is very, very important in between sets. You want to release that lactic acid that builds up. That's that burn, you know, when you're going through the workout and you're hitting those reps and as they build up, you start to get that real tight burning sensation where you just want to drop the weight. That's lactic acid. If you stretch in between your sets, that's going to relieve that. That's going to help you for your next set, all right? I'm going to ask you a question. Pull-up game. How's your pull-up game? I don't even know. I ain't did pull-ups in years. Let's, let's test it out, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the, over to the other side and we're gonna take a look at you. And uh, if you can't get one, don't worry about it. It's just for me to kind of do an assessment and see where you are and see what I got to do to build you up to it. Cause you will be doing pull-ups before the summer's out. Yeah. Fair? Let's get it. All right, here we go. We're gonna try out some pull-ups. I'm gonna see what he looking like right now just to kind of do a little assessment and see where he at, all right? So we're gonna use this bar right here. And you've done a pull-up before, correct? Yeah. Just been a while. All right, let's check you out and see how you do. So that's a chin up. So if you, anytime when you're doing where your palms are facing you, that's gonna be a chin up. That involves a lot more bicep, all right? You're hitting your lats at the same time, like mid, mid lats, but uh, it's more bicep as a primary movement. Palms facing outward, that's a pull up, okay? Almost. Try to get that chin up there. Hey, that was that was that was that was that was a lot better than what I expected though. Yeah. Alright, try it again. Get up there, get up there. Okay, not bad. It's about say like an inch off or so from that chin hitting the top. Okay, that's cool, man. You're a good sport yeah. that. <laughs> Alright, we know we know what we're working with. Alright, so we're in the lab. We're gonna hit some mid back. We're gonna hit some mid back and we're gonna hit some triceps. Okay, so we're gonna superset those two. What is a superset? Pretty much taking two different exercises and combining them into one set. So he's gonna do, start off with doing dumbbell rows. I got the dumbbells down here for him. So anytime I have a new exercise for a client, 
I always start off with really lightweight because what I'm doing is I'm assessing their movement. If I need to critique them, at that point I do so, get them used to the movement, and then if necessary, I start incorporating a little more weight, all right? No ego lifting around here. We are looking for crisp, grand results, all right? You ready? Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna straddle this bench. You lie down, your chest facing down, okay? So my chest, my lower chest is about right here at the top of the bench. You're gonna reach down, grab your dumbbells. Now you're gonna bring your legs in as tight as possible and we're gonna roll. Keep your elbows into your side, roll up, squeeze the lats, your mid back, come back down to a stretch, right? So what's happening here, if you see, follow my wrist. My wrist, when I'm extending up, as I'm rowing, my wrist is back more towards my waist. My hips, you see that? A lot of people, when they do rows, they do them like this. They get real tight, and that's mainly hitting biceps. We want our arms to be like in a box motion, and you'll feel the difference too when you do it, okay? You ready to go? There we go. And you wanna pretend like there's a pencil right here down your spine, and you wanna squeeze that pencil and hold it so it doesn't move. See how his arms are like in a box form? So he's pulling his elbows back. That wrist, when he rolls back, his wrist is in alignment with his elbow. That's what you're looking for, you see that? Good deal, give me five more. Let's go, let's go, let's go, five. Good. Four, good. Three, good. Come on, two. Last one, boom. All right, set it. Good job. All right. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, next exercise. You ready for it? Think so? We're gonna do tricep extensions. We're gonna use this bench, same dumbbell. Gonna sit facing this way. Grab the dumbbell, screw down a little bit, rock back. Now, hand placement. Well, we can go right here on this dumbbell. You see that? Extend up, come back. About right here. Why? Why am I not here? And what we're doing is we're working the tricep. We're doing the tricep extension. Because when I'm here, the bones serve as weight bearers. And I want to put that tension in the muscle. Here, I can, I can hold this weight like this all day long. A bullshit? A bullshit? Once I come back here, I feel the tension on my triceps. At that point, I want to bend, stretch it down. I feel this nice, tight stretch in my triceps, and I extend up. Two, three, four, and because I have my elbows more so back, instead of here, when I extend up here, I no longer feel the weight, the tension in my triceps, okay? As soon as I bring my arms back behind me, that's where I feel that tension, and I can rep out. I can even extend all the way. I can literally lock my arms out, and I'm still gonna feel that tension in my triceps. But you know what? You're not gonna take my word for it. You're gonna take toes. <laughs> Let's go. That shit look like hitting my shoulders. Yep. Now this is what I want you to do. Before we do that, scoot yourself back a little bit. Keep going. Use your legs. Yep. Extend yourself back. Come on back some more. Boom. All right. Now hold, you gotta hold your head up. All right. So press up from your chest and just rock with me. Come on back. And this is where your shoulders are activated. So, all right, you ready? So now you're gonna break at the elbow. So just stretch it down, bend at the elbow, press up. You should feel it right here. Press up and squeeze. Two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Stretch it some more. There we go. There we go. Come on. Twelve. Let's go. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. You hear? You feel that? Yeah. Let's go. Take a break. Stretch it out, man. Look, this is what I want you to do. Go over there. Hit that bitch. Stretch it ain't even worth it. I've been stretching since I got here. Your shoulder's different. I'm trying to help you out. You can't do it with the honey grip. Eight. Come on. Nine. Give me ten. Good. Two more. Just 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 two more. One. Chest up and two. All right, set it. Good. You notice the count, the count is different every time. You see that? So I'm assessing. I'm reading him, I'm reading his body. Reading his body language. So 12 was good for that set. I need y'all to be doing the same thing. Don't just stick to the standard, you know, four to five sets of, of 10, 12 or whatever. Pay attention. If you got some more juice in you, then go ahead and take it there. The key thing is to try to get like three to five more than what your body can tolerate, if that makes sense. You know, because your mind thinks one thing, but the muscles, they're actually resilient. They can do a lot more than what your mind thinks that they can. It's a matter of your pain tolerance. And that's the key thing to getting results is going through that pain, okay? Who has the highest pain tolerance? You can tell that for the most part by looking at people unless their genetics is just off the, the freaking chain. But um, yeah, in here with me training, I want to take you through what you think that you're capable of doing. So we're gonna go far and beyond what you can do by yourself. 10, 11, okay, come on. 12, give me three more. Get it, three, let's go. Two, let's go and one. All right, bring it up and over. All right, cool, take a break. And you see me spotting? I'm telling you right now, like I'm really not giving any effort. The mind is something else. So just the fact of me touching it, he knows that I'm right there, that, that gives him a little more energy. A little more energy, a little more endurance to push through it. But I'm not helping him. I just got my hands on him, okay? Sometimes in spotting you do, but you kind of want to feel for it. So you spotters out there, Get out of the habit as soon as you touch the weight to like go ahead and start assisting. It may look like the spotter, anybody that knows what they're doing when they're spotting, it may look as if we're helping them, but a lot of times we're not. It's just being there, them having that assurance, that safety net, and um, it forces them to give a little more to get through those last few, few sets, or excuse me, few reps that we want to get, all right? All right. We done with that. You know something tonight? Yeah, I got to come up with the show. Okay, I was, I was, hey man. You get your ginger? Did you get your ginger? Yeah, I made some juice this morning. Did you, yeah. did you drink it last night? I ain't drank it this night. I drank it this morning though. We about to go outside, hit some cardio, baby, let's go! Come on through, cause we about to get busy. Okay, so a lot of y'all, been following me for a while, you will familiar with my infamous heel. Oh hell no! We gonna hit it today. That sun and hey, that sun is out for you. You know what we doing? Tell them what we do. I'm gonna let you tell them what we do. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what we gonna do? He gonna start on my line. I'm gonna have him speed walk down to the stop sign. He's gonna about face, turn face me, and he's gonna sprint up. No, God, please, no, no! But for the first couple rounds, I'm gonna let him warm up a little bit. I'm just gonna have him jog, all right? Oh my God, wow! So for the first, I'll give you two rounds on the jog, is that cool? You ready to roll? Yeah. What side we, oh, you want? He want to he want to be on on the shade side. See, you got a tree line right here, as if that's gonna make a difference. But I'm, a, it's all right as long as he comes down and comes back up. I'm cool with it. All right, sir. Here we go. Work. Set. 
Go. Okay. Yeah! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! That's all I'm talking about. Crack my line, crack my line, crack my line. Yeah. Boom! 49. <laughs> I thought you were going to take off like that. <laughs> you know, hey, you, you know, because that camera, that camera was on. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> he said I was warm up. <laughs> all right, we got 49, but guess what? Now you got to beat my 49. It's going to be set three. Set three. That's where we at. You got to beat that. I knew you could do it. You only get one, one warm up now. First time ever getting to the 40s, huh? You cracked it. You right there. 40, 49. 49. Whew. Just make sure you keep your chest up for me. I'm gonna die. How you feel about it? It ain't as bad as it was. I see you catch my breath. Okay. Set three. Set three. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Hold on. Come on. She don't know. She don't. You ready? We did, we, we just got a warm up in. <laughs> uh, we just got a warm up in. So we about, to, we about to do the real deal. You ready for the real deal or you want another warm up? Because you just admitted that it's getting easier. No, I need another warm up. You, no, not, oh, but, but hey, what, what did he just say? What did he just say? It's getting easier. Got a warm up in. Oh. All right, come on, you ready? Yeah. Round three, here we go. You gotta beat 49 seconds. You got it. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about Last it. One. No. Ready? Fire. Set. Go. Come on. Oh, you started off slow. Ah, oh, come on. Then walk. Those seconds, they count. Speed up, don't slow down. Speed up, don't slow down. Car's not coming, run through it, run through it, run through it, run through it. 51, you slow down. Run through it. I'm watching out for you up top. I'm watching out for you up top, so you wanna run through it. Look at this guy. Look, now look. it's back. Now it's back. Well, it's supposed to be. In order for me to make you better. In order for you to be a badass. So how about I, you come to me, I kick your ass so you can be a badass. Is that fair? I think so. That's a nice little investment right there. What you think? I think so. <laughs> we got we got the shooter. Fuck <laughs> Hey man, you get your workout in too, see? Yeah, yeah. I give you. We're gonna do four rounds today, okay? Damn it. Come on, man. Okay, all right. I'll give you 60 more seconds. Everybody they want, they know what they want. They know what they want to look like, but it's like you gotta pay for that. You can't go under the knife to build the body. You can go under the knife to remove body fat, but to build genuine quality muscle, you have to train the muscle for it. You can't have surgery for muscle. Like, you, there's, there's just, you can't, it's impossible. So that's how you know when somebody really working too. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Telltale signs, you know? This is one of those things that you cannot fake. You can't go and buy it. Well, you can invest in it. Like he's, he's an investor. All my clients, they invest it, but they got to put in the work. So investments usually take some type of work. 
You know what I mean? This is one of them things where, man, I'd, I'd be a trillionaire if I can do it for you. You know that? If, I, if you can hire me and I can literally just like jump into your body, do all the work for you. But this is definitely one of them things. You got to do it. You got to show up. And you got to do everything that you need to do outside of the session. See? He didn't soak yesterday. He didn't drink his ginger. He went out late. He had a late night. He didn't get into. Y'all heard, right? He didn't get into six o'clock. Look at him. Look, look at his, look at his face. What <laughs> you want me to do? You know what I mean? Let's go. Round number four. I got to give you these knots, man. I got to give you these knots. You look like a sprinter. The boys gonna be like, God damn, so what you been doing, man? That's when you know that it's working. When you get dizzy and shit. Feel like you gotta throw up. Here we go! Get on the line. Work. Hey, hey, what? Call the number. What you gonna get this time? 49 is your best time. What we gonna get? Give it to me. 45. 45? 45! Here we go! Bart, say it, go! Get down there, get down there. Get down there, get down there. Shooter said, I ain't running with him this time. <laughs> I ain't running with him this time. <laughs> you got this. 15 seconds. This is gonna be good. 25 seconds. I think he's gonna do it. What you think? What you think? Here we go! Here we go! 33! Run through my line, come on! Let's go! Push, 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 push! Move them legs, man! Move them legs, let's go! Let's go, run through it! Run through it, 44! Hit it! Boom! 45! Ah! Yeah! Look at that! Woo! What's up, man? <laughs> Let's go! 45. Yes, sir. <laughs> what you got to say, man? I'm falling and I can't get up. Can't you can't talk? Yeah, I'm just playing with hat right here. Oh, yeah. And there you have it. You were able to jump in on my session with y'all. What y'all say? Give him a round of applause. Give him a round of applause. Come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey, man, you want some of this? Let's go. Come holler at me. Whatever you're looking for, you're looking to lose weight, you're looking to gain muscle, I got you. It's just all in you knowing exactly what you want, and I got the recipe specifically for you and your body type. No cookie cutter workouts. My programs are designed specifically to your needs and your wants. We out.